I, I, I started that. I can't remember, of course, the exact lines because it's over there and I'm not going to go get it. But uh, basically, we all have, um, we, we all have sometimes end up with masks that we haven't chosen but are sort of put on us. Mm -hmm. And then we start to see ourselves both from inside and outside that mask. We see, we see that it's a mask and we see that it's fake, but it's on so much. It's like when you, it's like when you get used to the yellow in certain sunglasses that you're wearing or rose colored glasses, right? Mm -hmm. That's the whole point there. Uh, one of the, one of the masks that I get, uh, uh, given a lot and uh, it's come up uh, again, a lot of this, uh, a lot of stuff I, I'm really dealing with just stuff that's always been there but it's it's weird to be seeing again because I moved to a new place and so I'm, I'm looking at people again it's not, I'm not ignoring things that I'm just being myself yet so uh, but one one of the things that gets put on me all the time is inspirational mm -hmm. and uh, it's a it's a funny one uh, twice now uh, I use this example a lot but twice now at the Panda Express in Ontario, Oregon, a man has come up to me and all he said was, you're amazing. And I was like, all I'm doing is eating with chopsticks, you know, just running around doing my thing. And uh, I think about that sometimes and, and that I, I get that because there are certain things that people do that I find amazing and they probably are just normal things that that person just does naturally you know and then one day one day I thought of this whole analogy many years ago when I was in school I looked at a picture of a paramecium and before that picture was taken, and it could have been actually the picture, well, I don't remember, I don't know when photography came around, but you know, you heard about uh, around that time, learning science, that there was this guy, uh, Van Leeuwenhoek, who was the first one to take a, I think it might have been a drop of water, but it, somehow he, he focused and looked deep, and he saw the first paramecium, mm -hmm. and uh, like, like built a, ma his, the first very, very, uh, simple microscope and uh, and now w one thing I know about paramecians is uh, they don't have long lives and yet that one paramecium that Van Leeuwenhoek saw gave up his life for science basically because he was in that drop of water and then he probably got washed away with the slide whenever they went on to do the next th thing and the little picture that I, uh, I took, that, that paramecium, as far as I understood it, was probably eventually burned up by the hot lights of that microscope and that photography session. And uh, there's millions of paramecians out there. But that was the one that got me curious about that tiny little life that we can't see. And so sometimes when I find people saying, wow, you're amazing. I just end up having to say mostly thank you because I guess I am. And in the end, I guess that means we all are too because we're all just doing the best thing we can think of to try that day, even if it's eating noodles with chopsticks <laughs> and Arthur Gregory. <laughs> <laughs>